Ready? Wow. They don't smell like anything. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, a little bit nutty, actually. Yeah. A lot of people talk about insects are the future of food. We're talking about insects are the future now. Uh, you know, we don't have to wait 20 years to start eating insects or the future, or wait for the world to collapse yeah, yeah, yeah. to start including them. Let's bring the past into the future, I guess. I'm Stevie Van Horn, and I'm a climate and social justice activist. I just spent some time in Philly and North Carolina learning about the ways we're rethinking our current ways of eating. But now I'm in the Bay Area with Monica Martinez to check out a completely new way of thinking about what we eat. At least new to me. I might be a little apprehensive, but I'm excited to eat some bugs. I'm Monica Martinez. I'm the owner of Don Bujito. Don Bujito is an edible insect food company in the Bay Area. And what was the birth of Don Bujito? So the birth of Don Bujito was when I realized that in the United States, people didn't have the culture of eating insects, insects as food. Mm. I'm from Mexico, right? <laughs> we have like over 500 varieties of edible insects. At least in the city, food moves very quickly. So it's like mostly fresh food. My background is in architectural design. So I was very interested on where the food moves, how food travels from a refrigerator, from a cardboard box, from a tin can. So this is where we grow and raise uh, mealworms. People get scared, right, when you hear the word worms. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, mealworms are not worms. They're actually uh. larvae, which I don't know, that sounds better, but... Uh, it <laughs> sounds like... kind of crazy. So here, actually, you can... <laughs> so these guys actually... Oh, these are alive, super... okay. They're all alive, and they're super friendly, and they're like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm in love with these guys. They're like so resilient. So you eat farm fish and farm chickens, you're already eating insects right. because they're like, feed them to pump the protein levels. One of the big talks about edible insects as food is the sustainable aspect of it. These guys, they use such a small amount of resources to go to generate the same amount of protein than another like, you know, conventional protein like beef. The resources uh, are significantly, significantly less. Are you kidding less me? Water, less, less water, less water. Less water, less food, less land. There's less no land. waste, there's no like greenhouse. I mean, green gases is very, very, very minimum. They get water from the environment, so they like a little bit of human environment. Mm -hmm. And also they get water from vegetables. There you guys go. Carrots for everyone. <laughs> They're moving a lot quicker. Yeah, they're... Do they they're, just know that they're getting fed or did they just move they a lot do. all the time? Yeah, I'm sure they do. We don't want to replicate an industrial farm system, but we, we need to scale up. We need to, you know... The amazing thing with Don Bujito is we have been growing very little by little and allowing the market to open. And Which it is. Yeah, it's, it's so, finally open. I mean, but 10 years ago, yeah, yeah, it yeah. definitely wasn't. Mexican cuisine has a cuisine that not a lot of people know. They call pre-Columbian cuisine. Mm. And pre-Columbian cuisine, the main diet was based on actually proteins that we didn't have back then. Like we didn't have cows. And the American continent, cows didn't exist. Chickens didn't exist. Pork didn't exist. So our main diets were actually insects and venison, fish, duck. So rescuing that type of cuisine and getting more immersed into like what is pre-Colombian, pre-Hispanic. So it's kind of in some way reviving Native American ingredients. So we're trying to revive pumpkin seeds, amaranth, edible insects, tomatoes, like as Native American ingredients. Mm. That are also inherently good for the planet as well. Yeah. Why would you buy tomatoes from China mm. when you, you know, Native tomatoes and potatoes are actually Native of the American continent. The shorter the steps are, the more healthy the food is, because mm. otherwise the food has to be in a warehouse for an extra month, in another wow. warehouse for another extra month. So, so you're saving time, you're saving resources, and yeah. there's more benefits to eating this. Yeah, and we're creating like jobs like locally, right? Instead of sending this to Missouri or something, we're hiring people who live around the area. So that's also one thing we had to think about, how we impacting you know, not only obviously the planet, but also our community or like, you know, proximity, yeah. So how do they taste? I couldn't wait to dig in, so we stopped by a restaurant in the Mission to try some. All right, so this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It helps to think the insects, maybe the flavor of an insect, like it's a toasted pumpkin seed. Okay. Or like something crunchy that you put in a salad. And so this is a cricket tostada. In the bottom, you can see guacamole. You have two types of cheese, toasted crickets, the chili yeah. lime crickets, some watercress, and uh, this pepper. All right, let's do part. this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then you think about like, what do I bought taste like? It's funny, it's not what I expected, but so no, good. So a lot of people don't know that insects are very close in flavor to things that we know already, right. like seeds and nuts. How can this be accessible, if it can be, in more communities? And how can people kind of integrate that in their own neighborhoods? Insects are very easy to grow, like urban farms. One of the things we're developing in the farms is these modular systems where can be replicated and be in different urban settings. The more demand grows, the more affordable it's gonna be. We're gonna see everybody eating insects. Yeah, yeah. I see it too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's a challenge to try to rescue some ancestral, we call it ancestral food practices, and you know, trying to say, okay, let's try to be a little bit more in harmony with the ecosystem, with the planet. 80% of the planet biomass is made out of insects. So how is it that we're not tapping more in insects, right? Giving a chance to edible insects, that is the uh, goal of Don Bugito. Yeah.